What is up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day and I'm a cybersecurity professional and college student. And this video is gonna be about how I passed the CompTIA CYSA Plus exam. So a while back I made a video about how I failed the exam um, due to certain reasons. So if you've not checked that video out, please be sure to check it out because it'll give you like a intro to this video. You know, we're just talking about how I've passed it on my second attempt. So now coming back from that previous video, after failing my first attempt, um, I needed to figure a way to pass the next time. And kind of walking through that was definitely like a mental battle because um, I needed to figure out a way to retake this exam and optimize my study in the best way possible to pass it on my second attempt. And I didn't want to go through, I didn't necessarily want to go through Jason Dion's course a second time, which I had gone through the first time. I didn't want to go through it again. Um, and I had various options available to me. So after uh, failing, I actually started my degree at WGU. And the great thing about WGU is WGU gives you access to a plethora of books, like a lot of books for free, as well as access to LinkedIn Learning and Pluralsight for free. And those are really, really great resources. So I thought to myself, so what, what am I gonna do to like, you know, supplement what I already know for this exam? Because I was really, really close to, you know, passing the exam. I had just about 20 points between me and success. So I decided that, okay, I was gonna go through another resource and use that resource to revise and, you know, have another perspective of the exam. And so I was thinking, what, what would I use? Um, do I want to read a book or do I want to go through another video training course? So I checked out the book, the Cybex book, which was recommended by a lot of people that I know who have taken this exam and passed. And the book was great. I think uh, if I had used it, I would definitely still have passed. Um, but I really wasn't interested in, in, in using the book because at this point, I was a lot more busier than when I had taken the first attempt. So I had like two free weeks um, of studying when I was taking my first attempt. I wasn't working because I just quit my last job and I was like uh, two weeks away from starting a new job. So I had a lot of time on my hands. I wasn't in school. Um, I didn't really have much going on aside from like Cyborgs Academy. Uh, but at the time of trying to retake this exam, I started a new job and with a different schedule, started at WGU, so a lot more pressure, a lot more responsibilities, less time for studying. So I knew that given my new job schedule and everything else that I am doing with school and other things, it would be harder for me to read because I find that I'm able to concentrate better in terms of reading when I'm less under pressure. Uh, and sometimes I am able to like, you know, walk through the pressure in terms of reading, but I fear better, I fear better understanding things when I use video courses, regardless of either if I'm under pressure or not. So I knew that reading a book, I would probably, most of the times when I would be reading a book, I would probably be super tired and wouldn't be able to assimilate much. So my best choice was to go over a video course. So. I decided to go with Floral Site, which WGU provides for free if you are a student. So I looked for a course on Floral Site and I found out Dale Meredith's course, his CYC uh, Plus course, which is a really, really good course. Dale Meredith is a really, really amazing instructor. Um, I like his style of teaching because it's really clear and concise and he has this amazing personality that you know, kind of ties into his instructor style, as well as the fact that he inserts like these, you know, dad jokes into his uh, course, which just makes it more interesting and I guess more fun to watch and even uh, easier to assimilate in terms of studying. So um, I decided to go with his course. So this time I went over his course, um, the different sections of the course. Uh, it's divided into different areas, I guess, according to the exam objectives for the CompTSA YSA Plus and whatever his course. And, you know, it's kind of a little bit repetitive given that I already completed Jason Dion's course. Uh, but I didn't mind because, you know, it was a there was a new perspective, a new instructor. Um, and I was like, you know, I can definitely, you know, work with the, the repetitive nature of my situation, given that I really, really wanted to pass it on my second attempt. So after going over Dale Murray this course, I went through Jason Dion's practice exams. Again, 
after my first attempt. So Jason Dion has uh, practice exams on, U on Udemy, um, six practice exams. During my first attempt, I only did the first three, but this time I decided to do the first three and the last three. And I did see an improvement in my scores. I saw that I was getting like in, you know, 80s and higher 80s. And I was like, oh, this is definitely better than my first attempts when I was taking uh, the practice exams for the first time um, and I failed. So it was definitely encouraging. So I scheduled myself for Wednesday, July 21st, 11 a.m. And started work, work, working towards that. And the night before, I was like, you know, well, let me just go over, you know, my notes and you know just kind of go over everything that I have been studying so far I went over my notes went over everything and I was just like super restless I could not sleep um, I yeah I was just like I, I I just couldn't sleep so I was like you know what it's whatever I'm just gonna schedule it for 4 a.m. this morning instead of 11 a.m. so actually I did reschedule it for 5 a.m. for that morning and I started studying. My plan was to study through till that time, till 5 a.m. when I was uh, gonna take the exam um, and then check in and everything like that. I guess I studied till like 4 a.m. and then check in at 4.30 or something. But then at like 3.30, I was like pretty much done with my studying and I was like, there's nothing else left to study. So I rescheduled the exam for 4 a.m. and then I just, you know, dropped everything I was doing, dropped my notes, uh, cleared on my table, and you know, I checked in. Um, I actually took my exam in the bathroom. These days I take my exams in, in, in the bathroom because <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to start explaining that. But um, just to let you guys know, they do not let you use the bathroom while you're taking the exam. So I did not use the bathroom while I was taking the exam, but I took my exam in the bathroom. So the Pearson like check-in process is super easy. You go through like your uh, you know identity, you know, they go for your, your ID card. You know, take a picture of your face and then a picture of the environment where you're going to be taking your exam so take the you have to take a picture of the four walls of the bathroom so like they can see there's nobody in there and then when you're eventually about to start the exam the proctor will ask you to do a 360 view of the area where you're taking the exam so it's definitely definitely trusted so there is no like you know uh illicit activity involved they will know it and catch you if you're trying to do anything fishy so i took my exam in the bathroom and the second time i felt a little more confident when i was taking it i wasn't as restless or I, I wasn't sweating like i was in the first attempt um and the performance based questions were actually really fun i really i really liked and enjoyed the performance based questions both in the first one and the second one um i really really enjoyed them and i think there was nothing left out in the exam so if you're looking to like you know study one part more than the other it's not gonna work out because CompTIA will test you on every single thing. Security vulnerabilities, logs, reading, reading logs, software vulnerabilities, um, cloud security, incident response, risk management, threat intelligence, everything that is required for the exam, CompTIA will give you questions and test you on it. So definitely make sure you pay attention to everything. Um, and really, really, I think really, take the time out to really study for this exam because there's a lot to gain for this exam and great thing about when i was studying for this exam was um the first time i was studying for this exam i was actually interviewing for a couple of positions and i can confidently say that during that study period what i had studied so far was definitely helpful in some of my interviews uh, for the positions i was interviewing for so this exam is a really really good exam and i really recommend it for anyone who's like um already in the field i i think i would recommend it more for you if you're right in the field like if you have like one or two years of experience or less um it would be it would make more sense to you and if you're someone who doesn't have much experience you would definitely want to intensify intensify your study efforts because it's not just it's not uh it's definitely an exam that tests you on experience beyond just like your test taking abilities your experience definitely comes into play in terms of like if you will pass this exam or not and if you don't have experience then your lab and experience or you know your your level of studying will you know be uh what will determine if you pass this exam but if you have experience like a, a year or two it definitely is an exam that you can easily pass with you know the available study materials um but like i said i only use jason dion's course and dale meredith's course on plural site 
I recommend the Cybex book because it's highly recommended. I think it's a really good book. I skimmed over it and I think it would be a, a good resource to add if you're looking to pass this exam. But that was my experience with the exam. I definitely enjoyed this exam. Um, and yeah, highly recommend it for anyone who's looking to like improve their skills uh, to become a security analyst or any kind of like defender or blue team kind of rule. Um, so <laughs> a question I've been asked over and over is like, what's next for me? Um, I was considering starting to do the blue team level one certification, um, which is a certification I've had my eyes on for a while. Um, but I think I will just be postponing that for later on. I really want to focus on my job right now, um, my new job, uh, given that I have a lot of training to go over for that job um, and you know some uh, certifications I, I want to get for the job that are required for the job as well. So I will be focusing on that. I also really want to learn uh, on the job, you know, really learn about the job, the environment, given that it's a new environment, I'm going to be, I'm using like several new tools that I've not had experience with before, some I've had experience with before, so it's definitely, um, I really want to like, you know, invest uh, my abilities and really, really understand what is going on and become, you know, decently, become really confident at it, so I will be focusing on that for now, as well as school, as well as WGU, so I will be going through like the different courses and certifications required for my WGU degree for now, and then when I'm pretty confident that I've, you know, I've achieved some goals, some, some you know, career goals in terms of my job, as well as some educational goals, I can now start, you know, pursuing some uh, personal goals for my long-term career, which, you know, includes the full team level one cert, but you know, we never know. Things could change between now and then. I change my mind and you know start pursuing something or something, something, uh, start pursuing that or something new. But for now, I really want to focus on my job as well as my education, um, and you know just really focus on those things and you know get better at, at what I do before now uh, investing my time in, in other things. So yeah, that's 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 what I have for now. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. If you have more questions about the certifications, um, definitely join our Discord server, Cyborg's Academy. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Um, you can ask questions. I will provide all the resources I used in the description as well. But definitely join Cyborg's Academy. Um, you know, if you have more questions or need guidance or anything like that. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please be sure to smash the like button. And if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe and leave a comment below. Let me know how your experience was with the exam when you took it, you know, how you liked it, how it impacted your career. And yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next video.